Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Today's tip will be peer-to-peer -peer payment apps. For most affordable housing programs, the determination of annual income includes income derived from household assets. One of the many challenges for housing professionals today is determining when an asset is treated as an asset or when it's treated as actual income from the asset. You know, you have those confusing questions all of the time. How is your company treating the peer-to-peer -peer payment apps? Do you have written rules? How have you explained to the residents what's expected of them as it relates to these apps? The increased prevalence of these apps have spurred the following questions within our industry. Are these peer-to-peer -peer apps treated as household assets? If so, which asset? Will it be mirroring the savings or the checkings? How are you coding it on the 5-9? How are you coding the deposits made from the app? Is it treated as income? If so, why? And are these deposits that you're treating as income only one-time deposits? That's food for thought. You have to think about that. Most importantly, you have to think about letting the resident know that you will be doing a third-party verification or that you need a third-party verification for these apps. Thanks for tuning in. Give a lot of thought to your peer-to-peer -peer apps, and we'll see you next time for another Tuesday tip.